Hi, my name is Tammy and you're watching Crafting with Tammy. Welcome to my YouTube channel today. Today we are going to be trying a DTF hack. What is DTF you say? DTF means direct transfer film. And I purchased some. It's by a brand called um, Otega if I'm pronouncing that, Otago or something of that nature. I got it off of Amazon, guys. You know me, I'm Amazon, Amazon. And what they are, let me just show you what they are. It's just like a film. It looks like a little piece of transparency film. And so mine on this pack, it comes with a, a piece of little white tissue paper on the back. And um, it, the package tells you that the side that doesn't have the print on there, I mean, the paper on the back is the, the side that the sublimation printer needs or the printer needs to print out on okay so really it's faced up i use i usually leave that little tissue paper on there it helps grab it through the machine so that it can print so then after you print your image on the film you're going to take this which is uh dtf powder and this is kind of like the glue that sticks to the to the ink on the um sublimation when it comes out you what what you'll do is put it the uh, piece of film in here and pour some powder over there and co coat it very well. And so then once it's coated, um, you'll take a heat gun and you'll go ahead and you'll cure it. And we'll show you how that's done. And so then once it's cured, you go ahead and you press it on your, um, your item, whichever you're using. And uh, today we're going to be using a little tote, just a little tote. So I'm gonna do a little image around seven by seven. We're gonna put it on here and it is a cool peel so once you go ahead and press it you have to wait for it to cool and then we'll take it off and um we'll have our results so without further ado come on let's get started do our sublimation design in canva and I'm going to go over here to hit create design and I measured the canvas on which I'm going to be um, putting the design on and the space I'm going to change this over here to inches is going to be seven by seven is the um, area in which I'm going to um, the dimensions in which I'm going to put the uh, design in that space. So we have a seven by seven and it's going to be a real simple um, design here. It's not going to take very long. I'm just designing it in Canva so that I can make sure that my dimensions are what I want them to be. And then under my uploads, um, I have an old SVG file that I have on here that I did want to use. Um, to put on the bag and let's see where it is. There we go. It's all the way down here. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to put it on there twice. We'll delete one of those. But it's just a nice saying. It says, God says you are. And then down to the side, it uh, has a, um, a profiles of a lot of different um, African-American females. And it says unique. And it gives you the scripture, special, um, lovely, precious, strong, chosen, and forgiven. And so um, this is the area in which the whole canvas is the area in which I have to use, to utilize. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out so that we can utilize quite a bit of that area. If I bring it down a little bit, I'm pretty sure that I could get it a little bit bigger. I don't want it off of the page and I don't want to cut off anyone's image there. So I might just leave it that size okay so with that being said i'm going to go over here and save it i'm just going to put um god says and i'm going to hit file 
save and file download and I'm going to save my download settings and then just hit the download button so it shows you here that it's downloading and then my download box will pop up and there it is as God says okay so now we know that we have it so next we'll go to Word you all know that I print my documents in Word because we are using sublimation the mirror the image has to be mirrored and as soon as Word opens up I'll do a blank document and my layout will be landscape and my margins I always like those narrow okay so now we're going to hit insert and we'll do a picture from this device and now it's just gonna I'm gonna go over here to downloads and then it says God says so um, I definitely want to check my picture format to see what my dimensions are and it's 6.99 by 6.99 which is fine I mean it's only a point off from 7 you could technically change this to 7 and 7 I can go in here and change it to 7 nope not 7 9 6.99 it says 7 9 why 7 9 let's see what 7 9 does okay is it all on the page yep it's still all on the page Alrighty, so then we're going to hit file, print, <clears throat> and I'm using my Ecotank series, 2800 series, that's my sublimation printer that was converted, and I'm just going to go to more options to make sure that the image is mirrored, and I'm going to hit advanced options, and I'm going to change my color controls, I'm going to change that to Adobe. I'll change my brightness, contrast, saturation, and density. We'll just hit OK. And then we'll hit OK here. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and load up the DTF film into the printer and We'll go over to the printer and uh, show you how that's done, and then we'll go ahead and print it out, and then as soon as it comes out, we'll go ahead and put the powder, coat it with the powder on the back. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, I have taken the sublimation printer off of the back the bottom rack that I have all my printers on this rack here, but I've taken it off the bottom rack so that you guys can get a better visual of um what's going on here so back here i have loaded the piece of uh film dtf um film in there and on the back side of that is what i was telling you is the little tissue paper that's there and i find out when i leave that there it helps it to uh the machine to grasp that thin piece of film um on there so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to print it out. And then as soon as it prints out, we're going to transfer it over to the table here and go ahead and put that powder on there. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so it has come off the sublimation printer. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And you want to do this immediately because you don't want your ink to dry. You want to be able to have the powder to adhere to the ink. So we're just going to spread some of this on here. And then after we spread it on there, we're just gonna take it and just move it back and forth. You see how it's coated the back white? That's what you want. So then we're just gonna tap off any excess and then I just take it closer to look at it to make sure that I have coverage, that powder. And it looks like down here on the word lovely, we could use a little bit more. Okay, so all looks well. 
So we're gonna take this bucket and move it out of the way. And now I'm gonna bring in my heat gun. This is a heat gun that I have purchased. It's a Wagner. Um, I think I paid for it at Lowe's. And I usually put it on a low setting. I don't do it too high. And um, I'm just waiting for it to heat up. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to cure this image. And you see how, you see how uh, there's, it's white, dusty looking powder that's on there. So what you're gonna do is just wave the heat gun back and forth over it. And you'll begin to see the images turn back their vibrant colors. And all we're doing is curing that powder on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and place it down on the mat so I don't have to hold it in the air, but you can begin to see her face coming in clear. See the words that are coming in there. I think the hotter the gun, the gun gets, the faster it is it starts coming through. I just don't like to let it sit in one spot because I don't want to burn it. Because it is a film. But you can definitely see how it is curing that glue on the back. And so while we're doing this, I have my heat press heated up and they recommend that you heat it at 300 and you press it for anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds. So we're almost done here. And I just make sure that I've got all the white stuff is gone and secured on there. So once this is finished, we're gonna go over to that heat press and we're gonna do um, press out some wrinkles on that little tote bag. And then we're gonna go ahead and press this. This is looking pretty good to me. Just a few more areas, just wanna make sure we get it all. I don't know if you can see, but the mat up underneath here is kind of buckling. They say this works too with the inkjet printer. I have yet to have tried that. But uh, I think that's going to do it. So let's head on over to the heat press. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are over to the heat press. And um, I'm just going to do a pre-press on this bag to get out any wrinkles and make sure that it's smooth. A few seconds then I'm gonna go ahead and get my lint brush and make sure that there is nothing no foreign object or lint or anything on my canvas and then we're gonna go ahead and flip this and we're going to go ahead and place the image I'm gonna actually go ahead and get a pair of scissors and cut some of this film off because it's a lot of extra film there. Bear with me. Okay, that looks better. And so this is our image that we're working with. And I'm just gonna go ahead and center this on the bag as such. And then I'm gonna take the Teflon sheet and put it on there and we're gonna heat this at 300 for about 15 seconds. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, the timer has gone off here, so we're going to um, move, remove the Teflon sheet. And this is what they call a cold peel. So what I'm going to do is set it over to the side. We're gonna let it cool off, and then we'll come and, um, once it's cooled down, we'll come and take this off and then press it one final time, okay? And we'll show you the results. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so it has cooled off and we're gonna go ahead and, and slowly peel.
And honestly, guys, it is a little tough to peel up, if I might say so myself. I don't know if it's I use too much glue or... So we're going to go back over here to the heat press and we're going to press it for about another 10 seconds and we'll have our final result. So, all right, guys, we are back with the final reveal and here we have um, our little tote. Um, overall, I think it looks pretty good. I can see a, a couple of flaws up front myself, uh, just being a perfectionist. On there in the G, um, some of the uh, ink um, separated um, was coming up off of the tote. But overall, this is the little DTF hack we've tried today. Um, also, they call it a hack is because, you know, when you sublimate, you have to sublimate on 100% cotton. So this is another way you can take um, sublimation by printing it out on the DTF film and putting the powder and curing it, and you're able to apply it to cotton or um, other types of materials. So um, that's kind of why they call it a hack because I do not have a DTF printer. A DTF printer, um, you this one you wouldn't be able to put on darks because with a DTF printer, when you have it, it has white ink in it and it prints a white background um, behind this. And so that's what allows you to print on colors, darker colors and things of that nature. But um, with this DTF hack, you can print, you can put sublimation images on um, cotton and other types of fabric. It doesn't just have to be polyester. So do me a favor. If you've liked what you've seen or you've learned something, leave me a comment below. Also, uh, leave me um, some comments on what you think about this DTF hack. It's been out for a minute, but um, it's new to me. So, hey, until we meet again, guys, be blessed.